What's up everybody, Chris here from Pearson Opinion, and today is the day, people. I finally get around to playing Final Fantasy XV. It has been a long way. Let's get to it. All right, so already I love the logo. I'm gonna select normal difficulty because, you know, these loading screens are pretty long. That guy's voice does not go with his face. Oh dang, that is a really intense big dude. All right, whoa! So, yeah, just throw fireballs at me, that's fine. Whatever, right? So one thing I have noticed is the graphics. So far, this is looking pretty epic. Hopefully we'll jump right in some action next. Okay, I guess we're pushing a car. Even in a virtual world, you can't get away from car troubles. At least the music's cool though, right? Let ourselves get carried away. I love this song. I gotta admit, the visuals on this game are absolutely stunning. Like, looking around, it's just unbelievable. Well, this chick definitely looks like she's uh, dressed for fixing cars, like. Oh, there's your standard Sid. Gotta make himself an appearance. I don't know how I feel about Sid in this game. He's usually a bit of a better character. I don't feel like he's a, the strongest of characters in this one. We've expended the last of our funds on the repairs. Would they send a prince out with just enough money to cover one car repair and nothing else? I mean, dude owns a castle, right? How come everyone has a different accent? I feel like my character has a standard American accent. This chick has some kind of southern accent. And one of my guys seems to be some kind of posh Brit. So it looks like a very similar concept to the spear grid in Final Fantasy X. Which is kind of cool. I really enjoyed the spear grid. I thought it was a great way to uh, learn abilities and further your character. I feel like it's probably one of the better ways to do it. Let's go kill some stuff. Boom! Hey. Oh, I oh, know. Maybe I'll just get eaten. All right, back on track. Maybe not. This is definitely the smallest space ever to fight in. Always gotta look left and right, kids, before you cross that road. Not yet. Oh, he just appeared out of nowhere. You know, I kind of like the battle system in this. I didn't think I was gonna. I thought it would just be too much real time for me uh, and too action oriented because Final Fantasy is all about turn based for me. But it's actually pretty good. I'm trying to look at this game from a different perspective, not as an avid Final Fantasy fan, but you know, just to enjoy the game in general. So, in that sense, it's actually really awesome. Time to make camp. This looks like a pretty safe place in the wild. Wow, this is a pretty elaborate. Where was he hiding them chairs? And a camera. My guys definitely were not carrying around a barbecue, a tent, a bunch of chairs. I mean, I don't know where all this came from, but whatever, right? Um. Is this where I gain XP from? Because I feel like I just got more XP from camping than I did from actually playing the game and fighting. I guess we just leave all of the camping gear up there. I mean, I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, look at this guy. He looks pretty angry. He's beast though. All right, let's do this. So it seems like a pretty cool mechanic that you can have your other team members use moves during the battle. I guess that kind of makes you feel like you can operate your whole team, but you really are pretty much just in control of your one character. You gotta knock it down with these big attacks, you know? All right! Good job, team! Good job. I mean, I'm not saying I did the majority of the work, but, you know, Come on guys, step it up. Considering I have a car, this game involves a lot of running.
let's see what I can crash into. Hammerhead is like no so I pretty much ever. have barely any control. Oh. Oh. Okay, so the card definitely isn't as fun as I thought it would be. You definitely can't really crash into anyone. You can't veer off the road and go into any of the outskirts because it just turns you right back onto the road. This is kind of lame. You all came all the way out here to deliver the goods. Well, thank you kindly. You're welcome, sir. What's up, dog? So, this dog is some kind of delivery system in a world with cars and flying stuff. A dog. Okay, so I think that's a pretty good place to leave it. I um, thought it was pretty awesome. Uh... Definitely want to get in on some more playtime with that, so I will uh, see you on the next video.